Tonight we have to tell you about a dangerous trend that's putting the lives of pilots and their passengers at risk. So far this year, nearly 7,000 laser strikes have been reported nationwide, and Florida ranks as one of the worst states. Fox 13's Catherine Hawley is live near the airport tonight. It's just hard to believe people do this deliberately, Catherine, but they do, and I'm not sure if they realize how dangerous it is. You know, I hope that they don't realize how dangerous it is, Cynthia, because it can cause temporary or even permanent vision damage. It's a really serious thing. And recently, pilots with the Tampa Police Department experienced two laser strikes in one weekend. Southwest 4465, use caution, just had an unauthorized laser illumination event. A Tampa police helicopter responded last month after a laser was being aimed at planes near the airport. I think it might be this guy that's sitting okay. between these cars. The pilot soon becoming a target himself. The powerful laser causing an explosion of light. It's literally hitting this glass and it shoots off to the next glass surface, shoots to the next glass surface, it, and it just it starts bouncing around extremely fast and it becomes just a bright light in the cockpit. Police flight officer Joe Blanco says laser strikes are a serious threat to aviation safety. They frequently happen at night and typically at low altitudes during the critical takeoff or landing phase of flight. At the lower end of the scale, it's distracting or can be temporarily blinding. On the um, far end of the scale, on the worst side, it can actually cause eye damage. Law enforcement choppers, commercial airlines carrying hundreds of passengers, private planes, even medical helicopters transporting sick and injured patients have all been targeted. They're endangering people's livelihoods, not to mention um, their lives. FAA data shows there have been 53 laser strikes here in Tampa so far this year. Across the Sunshine State, incidents are up 30% compared to the same time last year. And that dangerously high rate continues nationwide. Pilots have reported more than 6,700 laser strikes in the first nine months of the year. Then we put our camera uh, where that source of light's coming from, and we have thermal imaging that we can, we can start seeing individuals that are hanging out. Those cameras are crucial for tracking down the person intentionally shining the laser. Our target down here, he's just sitting out in front of the house. In this case, the man was caught and arrested. Violators can face local felony charges as well as federal criminal penalties. We immediately call the FBI as soon as we land. And shining a laser at a plane or helicopter can also come with hefty financial penalties. The FAA charges, or rather fines, up to 11 grand per violation and as much as $30,800 for multiple incidents. Cynthia. Yeah, it's a serious thing. People just don't do it. You know, just don't do it. Thank you, Catherine.